Welcome back to my channel. The darkest depths of the Red Sea could shed light on the origins of life itself, thanks to a stunning discovery made by scientists. A team of researchers at the University of Miami hit the bottom of the narrow sea, which lies between the Arabian Peninsula and Africa, and were met by dense, salty lakes known as death pools. The alarming name is fitting given that these are among the most extreme environments on Earth. The rare pools, which form on the seafloor, are hypersaline, meaning unimaginably salty, and contain zero oxygen. Indeed, they are so hospitable that any animal that strays into their briny waters is immediately stunned or killed. And yet, despite all of this, they still manage to team with living microbes, a fact that could offer insights into how life on our planet began, and how beings could evolve on water-rich worlds beyond our own. Our current understanding is that life originated on Earth in the deep sea, almost certainly in anoxic, without oxygen, conditions, deep sea brine pools are a great analog for the early Earth, and, despite being devoid of oxygen and hypersaline, are teeming with a rich community of so-called extremophile microbes. E. 2.6 square kilometers, according to Live Science. Furthermore, only three bodies of water are known to host these rare pools, the Gulf of Mexico, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Red Sea. The Red Sea has the highest number of these lakes, which are thought to originate from dissolving pockets of minerals that were deposited during the Miocene epoch, around 23 million to 5.3 million years ago, when the region's sea levels were lower than they are today. Until 2020, all known Red Sea brine pools were located at least 15.5 miles, 25 kilometers, offshore. However, that year, Perkis and his colleagues discovered the first such pools in the Gulf of Aqaba, a northern pocket of the Red Sea, lying just 1.25 miles, 2 kilometers, from shore. The groundbreaking find was made during an expedition run by the exploration organization OceanX. The biggest pool measured around 107,000 square feet, 10,000 square meters, in diameter, while three smaller pools measured less than 107 square feet, 10 square meters, in diameter. At this great depth, there is ordinarily not much life on the seabed, Porcus told Live Science. However, the brine pools are a rich oasis of life. Thick carpets of microbes support a diverse suite of animals. Of these, the most interesting were the fish, shrimp, and eels that appear to use the brine to hunt, Porcus said. Owing to the brine's lack of oxygen, any animal that strays into it is immediately stunned or killed, he explained. The predators that lurk near the brine then feed on the unlucky, he added. The proximity of these pools to the coast means they could have accumulated runoff from land, meaning terrestrial minerals could be mixed into their chemical makeup. This means they could potentially serve as unique archives preserving traces of tsunamis, floods, and earthquakes in the region spanning thousands of years. These conclusions regarding the risk of tsunamis and other natural disasters may offer very important lessons for the massive infrastructure projects that are presently being built on the coastline of the Gulf of Aqaba, Porcus warned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.